Hey guys, it's Cameron, and I'm kind of just doing a quick requested video from a lot of you in comments where you're asking, you know, what are some things that you wished you would have known when you started, or it's just a combination of a bunch of questions that I get all the time that I can tell are from people who are just starting. So let's just talk about some of the things I wish I would have known when I just got started so that if you're starting now, you get a little heads up. Um, before we do that, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff that I always beg you guys to do. Just that helps me out. Thank you so much. But when you first start, one of the main things I want you to know and that I wish I knew was that it's going to take a second to get some momentum. You know, a, a lot of us on here like to talk about, oh, you're going to make $100 your first day or, you know, you're going to make a sale your first day. I didn't make a sale my first day. It took me three or four days to make my first sale. I think it took me three. Um, I definitely didn't make $100 in the first day. I don't even think I had a $100 day until my second month. Um, that's not the case for everybody, but from what I've seen, that's a lot A lot of the time that's what happens, um, which is totally cool. You're going to grow just like anything. I always say this. If you start a job, you're not going to be great at that job at first, but you know, a month in, a year in, you're going to start doing that job like it's nothing. You're, you're, you know the ins and outs. You know the, the stuff that does matter, the things that don't matter, that you thought mattered in the beginning. It's just totally not as big of a deal as it was when you started. So it takes some time. You'll, you're going to get sales. You just need to be patient. And that's one of the main ones is just being patient. When you're listing, I get this comment every day multiple times over and it's you know i have 12 listings and zero views what am i doing wrong it's like okay well one that's not enough listings yet i mean i i probably listed 50 things and and before i started seeing regular sales and by regular now they're no longer that's not regular to my current standards but back then it was like ooh, i'm getting like a sale a day or i'm getting you know, at least more interest or, or something like that. 12 listings is just, I mean, I, I would be surprised if I listed 12 things sometimes and got a sale on each one of them. It's just, it's a numbers game. Also, if you're not diving deep enough into products, then you're not going to be selling anything because, you know, I'll hop on here. Other YouTubers hop on here. You might read some articles about drop shipping on Facebook and you know, for one of the first places you're gonna go to is Walmart and you're gonna search furniture because we all tell you to look at furniture. And it's just like, okay, well think about that. Thousands of other people are hearing that same exact thing. They're probably doing the same stupid search you're doing and, and coming up with the same exact products that show up on the first couple pages. And you're, you're just listing the same exact thing as everybody else. And then on top of that, you're listing it at a decent profit margin. Someone else is willing to only make $2 on it because I don't know why you would ever do that, but some people just suck. And then that's that's what they're doing. And and you're 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 listing things, you're doing everything right, and then you're like, "Man, this isn't working how everybody says it's supposed to work." Go a little deeper than that and assume assume most of the time that the if you found a product in the first 5 minutes and you're brand new at this, chances are that product's not going to sell. You get lucky. I mean, you could totally get lucky. I've gotten lucky before. It can totally happen. But, I mean, just just know that you should probably dive a little deeper. So when you find a cool product, if you think it's unique, then, you know, search other variations of that product and, and maybe go, like, just know that the f more work you put into finding a product, the the more likely it's going to to not be already listed hundreds of times and at different price variations. So we won't get into how to do that right now, but just know it's not really that hard. Um, it takes work on your end in the beginning, but in the future you can get softwares and stuff that help you with product research and all that. But in the beginning, I didn't have any of that. I just, I had to, I had to just wing it and guess and experiment. And that's probably one of the most valuable things that I did was experiment with the most random stuff. Yeah. Speaking of softwares, that's one of my next ones is my, one of my biggest mistakes was waiting too long to sign up for a software or an extension or, or whatever. You hear some of us talk about things like, like Z drop. Um, I use, I use Z drop and I use, um, FBM Fox. Those are the ones you're going to hear me talk about the most. 
There are plenty of other ones out there that a lot of people use. These are just the ones that I like. Z-Drop is super inexpensive and it just helps you list quicker. Um, it doesn't really help you find things. It just, it's, it's kind of the bare bones. It helps you, you know, list faster because in the beginning, what you're doing is you're comping photos, you're, you're comping descriptions, you're saving photos. And then if they have, if they're web links, you're like cap, like doing like screen captures and editing. It just takes a lot of stupid time that you don't need to waste from listing. I noticed my sales went up significantly when I signed up for an extension that helped me copy paste everything so much quicker. At first you think it's stupid. You're like, I'm already copy pasting stuff. How much quicker can it be? But then you realize how much quicker it really is when you finally sign up for, for, for one. So that's one of the things I would definitely suggest is to sign up for some sort of extension. Even if you don't have as much money in the beginning, use a cheap one. I Again, I use ZDrop and FBM Fox. FBM Fox, if you're already ready for something in the next level, it, it lists for you just like what I said the other one does, but it also includes a product research tool. I have other videos on that and I'm gonna be making more. But um, at the same time, it'll also keep track of your sales and auto update everything. You're, you're probably not ready for all that yet, but just know that's an even cooler option that's just gonna set you up for success. So I have links to both of those in my descriptions that'll give you 10% off your first month for FBM Fox and then a dollar off each month when you use ZDrop if you sign up for those. My codes are down there for you to help you out. But on top of that, one of the other mistakes that I did was waiting too long before I just separated all the income from Facebook to another account. You're already doing something where it's complicated when you start getting orders and then you start fulfilling orders and updating tracking numbers. You don't need to be sorting through your personal money for business money too. And I don't mean to say business money and to make it all complicated, but it's a lot easier to keep on top of things if all that money is just going into one account and that's the only money going into the account. So I would definitely open up another checking account that's separate from your personal money for all this to filter in. And then at the end of the month or whenever, however often you wanna pay yourself from the profits, transfer it to your personal, but it's still just easier to see everything rather than you got like Chick-fil-A transactions and, and Starbucks transactions, Target coming in, like all mixed into your PayPal transactions. It starts to get really weird to look at. And then before you know it, you're not really on top of your profit versus your expenses and everything. So I would definitely open up another account to have all those deposits come into. Another one is just, there's gonna be hiccups. The, the Facebook's gonna have issues. Um, softwares are gonna have issues if you're using them. Like there, there's just gonna be, this is an evolving and like breathing machine. And every time Facebook updates something, Facebook messes up for some reason or another, or sometimes 10 reasons that maybe you hit two of them and other people hit five and nobody knows what's going on. I mean, we all just went through some crazy Facebook stuff recently and some people are still dealing with the consequences of it just because Facebook was going through some issues and updating things. I mean, I have two selling accounts and both selling accounts have completely different options on some of the pages. It's just, it's constantly evolving and you just need to know and not get too scared or frustrated when there's an issue with Facebook because it's going to happen. And again, those are gonna affect, like say you sign up for a software, that's gonna affect whenever Facebook updates something, the software's gotta take a second and update. The people gotta go in there and make some tweaks before it reads everything properly again because now it's not operating on the same frequency as what the, the website was doing. So that's another thing, is just know the hiccups are gonna come up and you just gotta be patient with them and just know it's part of the game. You're making free money online for doing weird, little side hustle stuff. So I mean, it's just that you're you're playing in a game that shouldn't exist and benefiting from it. So yeah. I don't know if I said this one already, but when you list stuff, I, I did mention earlier the, the 12 listings with zero views. Um, one thing that you're looking for when you do find good products, you'll know it's a good product because in the first day, it'll have at least like 500 views. I mean, that's how I know I have a good product. I mean, in the first 30 minutes to an hour, I, I'm happy if it has 100. That makes me know like, ooh, okay, people are searching for this. Because you can list great products all you want, but if people aren't searching for them and they're just not in demand right now, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can have great descriptions, or great anything. You could post no description and just put a crappy title and a good picture 
And if people are searching for the right thing, then they come across that because it's just in demand, you're going to make sales. It, it's just don't get too hung up on the little details and spending 30 minutes with the perfect listing because that's not what any of us are doing. So just know I'm looking for thousands of views, not hundreds of views on an item. And don't get too caught up on your items. If, if, you have a, if something's failing, delete it or leave it and move on. Like just, just keep listing because that's where you're going to find success. You're not going to find success harping on old listings that don't have any views. I don't even know how many listings I have that have like five views. It's, they're not part of my memory because I do not care about them. They weren't successful. I have killed them off of my list. So that's probably one of the big ones. Other than that, there's probably so many other ones, but those are just some things that were on my mind this morning when I was listing. Like, oh yeah, I forgot these are some issues that I had when I first started. I wish I wouldn't have thought about them so hard. But if you made it this far, please like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would love that. Um, that way you get notified when I come out with new stuff or do any kind of live videos. And yeah, all those links are in the description if you are interested in any of my stuff. But I will see you next time.